So all these guys right here, like we're a big group of friends. These three right here are my main best friends, Gavin, Connor, and Jaden. They went to DMAC last year, and uh, we spent time, time together every day. We'd hang out every day, play cards, whatever. And then these guys went to Ames, Iowa State. So we'd go and tailgate with these guys. They're much older. They're like 21, 22, just graduating. So probably not the best group of people to be with when you're going on spring break your first time. So we go to Cancun from March 10th to March 15th, and we were a little late on getting our flights and everything. So us three, or us, I guess us four Ankeny guys, got flights on Viva Arobas out of Chicago at midnight, layover in Mexico City for three hours to fly to Cancun. It was the sketchiest thing ever. I do not recommend it. Yeah, don't go the cheap way or the, yeah, or don't let us plan your trip. Yeah, yeah. And so anyways, so this is, this is the first, this is the second night we were there. We went and decided to get tickets to go to this club called Coco Bongo. Coco Bongo. This is where everything kind of went wrong. So we all go there, we're all pretty, I mean, it's an all-inclusive trip. You're at a resort, swim up bar, you get a drink, but you know, whatever. And so you could probably say that we're all indulged a little too much, especially uh, certain people. <laughs> and so, and that's what brings us to this. So we're inside this joint, right? We're there for probably an hour and a half. We have six hours there. We're, we have until three in the morning. All the drinks we want for free. Oh we're there for an hour and a half. My buddy Gavin, so him and I meet this couple. They're a nice couple, we think. I don't know, some sketch stuff happened. <laughs> there, this guy's friends with some other people, and because Caesar, Caesar, he's our translator, because like he's our boy, and he can speak Spanish. So he, he's hearing all this stuff. Somehow, Gavin got himself drugged, like roofie something, and like he couldn't stand, like he's falling over, like it wasn't like a drunk thing, like or whatever. And so he gets kicked out, and here's, he's gone, we lose him in Cancun. <laughs> and so then we all leave and we go back to the resort. We're trying to call the embassy, trying to figure out how the heck to find our buddy. And still nothing. And so I, he comes back and tells this whole story. You can believe me, you can believe, I don't believe him completely. He said he went on this little journey with this, met this family, went fishing with them off some bridge. And then he ate fish with them. But I don't know if I trust that a whole lot. <laughs> so, I guess so. These pictures. So this was after this. So we found Gavin after we first left the club. This is right after we left the club on our way back to go to the bus. We found Gavin outside of there. And you notice how we're missing quite a few guys. Yeah, we got pretty split up. I mean, that was that was the bad part of it. And so then we have Gavin. We're on the bus. We don't have Gavin. <laughs> we don't have Gavin. Yet. Gavin's already gone. Okay. And so we're all confused, you know, we're all like, we get back to the resort and we're like, holy crap, he's not with us. And that's when we, get, when we call him to see whatever. Next day, wake up, morning, Gavin's back somehow in our room, no idea how. Wakes up, he's laying in the bed right next to me. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, and it was, yeah. And, then he, and that's when he goes on this whole story, how he got back in five in the morning. Okay. So yeah, the next day we went to this, uh, on a catamaran, and then it took us to an island, this island called Isla Mueras. We did some like tequila testing. We ate at some like street taco place. It's pretty cool. We also went uh, snorkeling. I couldn't do it. I sucked up all the water every single time I tried to look. And then, yep, at the end of the story, <laughs> sent us to my mom in the club and I told her I wasn't gonna go off the resort and what I do, I went off the resort. And that is my story. Do not go out to resort when you go to Cancun. <laughs>